Appreciate y'all tapping in to the Big Cast Podcast. You know. You already know what's going on. Still in the building with your host, His Excellency. The Mighty Effect. You know how we do, my G. Yo. Let's get to it. It's too late for this man. <laughs> I don't know why he want to keep running back to niggas, man. I, I, if y'all don't know what we talk about, it's a little late, but uh, we figured we'll talk uh, about it. J. I don't Cole. understand, man. J. Cole finally addressed the beef situation, the whole Kendrick Lamar, Drake. Pick his, a, you picked your side. His, then his you slice. backed out from that <laughs> side. Let's be honest, man. Let's hear what he had to say. But though. we're about to react to Port, Port uh, Ant- Antonio. Port Antonio. Port Antonio. At least... You know, I, I hate it when titles don't give me a meaning to what, what, what we're talking about here. I mean, I think if you... Honestly, I I just heard the joint, but I'm sure Port Antonio has something. I think if we do a little bit of of uh, research, let's find out what what happened at Port Antonio. What is, what is Port Antonio? We can, we can find out what that's about because I know J. Cole, there's some sort of meaning to it. All right. Some sort of meaning. But if y'all ready, I'm ready. J. Cole, Port Antonio. It's giving Kanye an example. It's giving Kanye. I wonder, I Is Kanye if, behind this? Let me find out if he produced the record. Does this song remind you of something? Um, I know you said Kanye. It's giving me Kanye the the you know the sample, obviously, but J Cole loves that. Too. Does it give you a mix of Jay Z too or not? I mean, yeah, Jay Z as well, but a lot of people like the sample. So okay, and J Cole okay. has kind of like been in the sample game as well, so. I'm okay. definitely not surprised. All right, let's run it through. Let's run it through. I was seen flipping birds, so we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll shit. I want to shine too. I want to dance too. Jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono, we mono, I'm bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm blue, she had an out cool, the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwelling at the top, the fear where all my skeletons locked. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melon in mic. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ox. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see the heavy metal get hot. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He wanna ball till he fall until the federal's knock. And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. He's he's talking shit about Drake, ain't he? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, he's talking about him gambling. Drake gambles a lot. Yeah. Makes bets a lot. And he just said, hold on. He brought up Michael Jackson? That's a Michael Jackson reference. He wanna ball till he fall into the federal's knock And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock You can't relate unless your father was not around And your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around And they salaries didn't combine When they married and brought you out of that poverty Then you moved to a soft little part of town so I think it's a really good point What about it now? Then your cop I mean, I don't think it's a, a surefire, you know, kick towards Drake I don't think so I think it, it. I see where you're coming from with it, but I don't. It's think too close to home, G. Yeah. Michael Jackson, the betting with DraftKings, because Drake bates a lot, I, I and and the part with I'm trying Drake. to battle with Rock. Are you saying, well, 
The Rock is not. Uh, uh, he's not K Dot. And then uh, no, Drake did break some uh, Michael Jackson records. Right. So I can see where you're going with it, but I don't think it was a definite towards Drake. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. He's in his bag. That's cold, baby. He's in his bag, G. That's cold. I mean, and, and you look at the cover. It looks it looks kind of like um, it's dark and like almost in like, are you are you getting back to the street shit? Like, are you are you getting back to how you was type shit? You feel me? Hmm. What does the cover say to you? Um... I guess just just move. I can't and, really see his face or yeah, nothing. Like I think it's just like, to me, it gives. I'm just going to move in in the shadow of this whole thing. Like I know I was involved, but I'm like he like, moved in the shadow yeah, of the whole beef, staying so. behind everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let's I, let's keep rocking. Yeah. Mm. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pit and think I'm dodging smoke. I would have lost the batter dog, I would have lost the bro. Mm. I would have gained the phone. Mm. What the hell? <laughs> what? It, what? That's a little sneak. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would have lost the battle, I would have lost the bro. That's a double, that's a double charge. What he's trying to say is that. Wait. Listen, I could have, I could have gone in and and fucking smoked this, but I would have lost a friend. But he's saying he wouldn't have lost the battle. That means he's saying I chose to bail out because the friendship was more important. But yeah, I could have smoked him. I wouldn't have lost the battle. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pit and think I'm dodging smoke. I would have lost the batter dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone. And all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king. That means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable means to be considered best and living rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing. Protecting mm. legacies. So lines got crossed perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war. Walk Away with all they blood on me. Now, some will discredit me. Try mm, to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, I went, they went, my friends went to war and I walked away with all their blood on me. I, I don't think all they blood, only blood you got on you was, was Drake's blood. Yeah. Because Drake's the only and then, one and that then, guy and smoked. I don't know if he's talking about Drake or K Dot. He's, he's, he's talking or about he's the, talking about both of them. Yeah, he's talking about both of them. He's talking about the beef. He says, I walked away from the, blood, from the beef with my friends and I got their blood on me. But let's keep it real. There's only one person whose blood got spilled. It's and that's Drake. Drake's blood. Yeah. Like, like there is... I mean... And, yeah. yeah. And, and also, you know, I hope J. Cole doesn't think, you know... In real life, you and Kendrick are friends. I'm, I'm, I'm betting Kendrick is like on some... I think they're murder friends. all, murder all, in my sight. Because if they was friends, Kendrick wouldn't have ever put him out in the first place. You know what I'm saying? 
I think they are friends, and um, I think that uh, J. Cole has no rights to say whether he would have won the battle or not because you bowed out to the battle, which automatically forfeits that you lost. You, you gave lost. you. You surrendered. But now he's trying to rescind and say... Now he's trying to kind of rescind. He would have won. Now, now, if this was the first track he dropped before he dropped the diss record, if this is what he put out as he never said anything and they went to war and then he this is the first thing you heard from him, this would have been a class act. I, but, yeah, I, yeah, it would have been a class act, but more on a, on a mellow vibe. Right, you know but we would have never known that... You know, because you, you put out a whole record talking about Kendrick shit was bad. Yeah. And you didn't feel it. You did. But, and at the end of the day, whether you 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 took all that shit back, you said it. You said it. You said it. You said it. That's rap and he's incredibly up. Uh, my dog texted me, I shared a word he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, mm. I guess it ain't mm. metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text mm. him back, like, yes, I'm gonna want You one shot the gun. Me. They strip me off the spot free, my nigga. Just go you said he said if you don't shoot the gun, doesn't mean it's the gun not is not as deadly. It deadly. Or deadly. It, it doesn't yeah. mean the gun is not as deadly. You're right, but you, you shot the shot gun. Him. You you shot the and gun. And tried though. to reverse the bullet right. back. You know what yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no, Cole. And then he's he's putting this whole persona trying to kind of almost get at the fans who wanted to see the battle. Nah, Cole, this is fucking hip-hop. Battling is part of hip-hop culture. It is. If you say that you are the king, the king is always challenged. And you got challenged. And will be challenged every day. Every time. It's the rules of hip-hop. You want the crown? You have to see who's sitting on it, and you have to try and dethrone that person. You uh, you guys... It's just like UFC or boxing. Anything. You know, you whoever's the, belt, the champion... Everybody wants the belt. Exactly. So, so don't give us this... Now, the record is dope. But don't give us this guilty trying to say, oh, oh, you guys are bots. Just wanted to see a... Hell yeah, we wanted to see a motherfucking battle, nigga. <laughs> it's fucking hip-hop. Come on, don't do that, Cole. Uh, let's go. Let's, let's run it. Let's run it. They say I'm picking sides. Hey, don't you lie on me, my nigga. The start of another morning drink, you'll always be my nigga. Mm. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beef and it's for speaking our thoughts. Pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds. Keeping your heart, screaming our mind. Emotions to touch, something inside to open you up. Help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. My nigga, y'all niggas say stop. Yeah. Y'all niggas say stop. Y'all niggas say stop. Well, well, well. If you've ever dreamed of owning an apartment, mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was, um, that was interesting. That was interesting. What do you think, bro? What do you think, my G? Um, uh, my honest opinion on everything. The track is fucking fire. Yo, the bars are fucking fire. What you're saying is fire if you hadn't participated in the beef to start with. Like I said, if this was the first, if, if everything went down and we hadn't heard anything from you and then this is what we heard... I would have been like, okay, he took the mature route. He, everything's making sense. But now, as much as the beat is fire, the bars are fire, which I hear what you're saying, but you're wrong about a few things. And you, you back down because you, maybe you, you had a change of heart, but you had it. That, that's what you should have had before you even put out that diss record you definitely know? definitely yeah so i just i don't i just don't know how to take this listen the way i see it j cole was the first one to shoot the gun 
right. and take his clip back. Right. Um, Drake went all the way, even though he failed in a mission. Right. He's, he's we still, still see on, we still see him as a warrior. He's still on We're still gonna listen to Drake, and although Drake did, you know, get beat on this challenge, he still he's still up. From, still if to me personally, I, st- I still feel like Drake is up. Nah, because he's still. No, I, don't, no, I get it. I, don't, I feel what you're saying, but like him or J Cole, who's up right now? Between who and who? J Cole and Drake. Man, I I'm not give it. I think they're both down, but I'll give it. I'll give it to J Cole more because Drake has been putting out records, but nothing been hit. <laughs> He ain't he's, put, like listen, everything's been. Th- did, I of heard course, him because in, did you hear of the course, Spanish thing? Listen, he was singing in Spanish. I thought I did, but check like, this out. Yeah. But listen, listen. <laughs> I think why he's speaking in Spanish. He's here. still breaking records at the end of the day. Which records is he breaking? I'm telling them, like I'm like. He has more streams than all the rappers right now. Now, yeah, that was before he got killed. But, but yeah. still has more streams now. Yeah, it takes some still... time for somebody to break the record. But the fact is that as Look, for now, as for you're, now yeah. you've been halted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick really stopped your shit. But what I'm saying is, Drake is still a warrior for standing up for himself. No, no, that I'll give Drake respect because he took it. That, and that's the thing about fighting. It's like you might be able to and, and that's how i am in real life like you might be able to beat me you might be a bigger dude than me and we're gonna fight but listen you're gonna have to borderline kill me or knock me the fuck out because what you, i'm not going to back down and i respect you, Drake for that what are you thinking about what do you think about when young thug uh tweeted one drake and young thug and uh, metro booming to make up so they can make music again get to collabing again uh what do you think about that about them Making up, yeah, because you know Thug is feeling like they they should all um, get back to being friends and making good music again. I mean, that wouldn't be such a bad thing, but I wouldn't be mad if it never happened because me, I'm a little bit of a grudge holder naturally. <laughs> so honestly, <laughs> at least at least my nigga Marty's uh, honest, my nigga. Listen, I'm a grudge holder, so you know, if we have beef for us to become cool again and. And some of the things that were done and said, said? like Ugh. those guys did the BBL dress, like, what y'all niggas did that shit about me, nigga? We I don't know. I like if you have it in your heart to for you guys to really put this in the past, good for you. Me, I don't know how possible that shit would be, my nigga. I'll take that. I don't. I don't really. Once you cross my path, my nigga, things will never be the same. So why even why, try why to even try. fix shit? So Young Thug, Young Thug can't even fix this right now. Let's Man, it. I I wouldn't. But if they fix it, they fix it. Jay Z right. and Nas kind of got back on stage. But it was they, a long they, time. They, yeah, it was a long time. After a while, got, yeah, yeah, they grew up. Cause they were, it took years for them to do that. So, I can maybe after some time, but yeah, me, I'm a grudge holder though. <laughs> Yo, appreciate y'all tapping in. Let us know what y'all thought well, about J Cole, Porter. Th- what Antonio. do you think about them? What um, Try, uh, like making up? How you feel about that? You think it'd be okay if they? Nah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I feel like Drake need to get on. Demon mode and just That's be on what some Drake like, to do. you know, fuck these friends. Get a, you know, you really helped all most of these motherfuckers out. So true. Why? And Jayco admits that in this track. He yeah, says, yeah. I thank you for Even if they you come to apologize, me. hey, rock that shit down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But At the end of the day, Port Port Antonio, one to ten. What you what you give it? I give it a seven. I give it a, I give it a six point five. Yeah. I give it no, a seven. No, no, I give it. A, I give it a seven. Yeah. I give it a seven. I love the beat. Yeah, yeah. I love the flow. Yeah. I like he, that's J Cole. He's a fucking brilliant, he, yeah. like rapper. Like yeah. I would never take that away from J Cole. You know why? Like, I gave, boy can rap, I, I, rap I would have gave it an eight or an eight point five if some of the stuff he said weren't like factual. They weren't factual to me, honestly. Yeah. Because again, he did feel like. He didn't start it, or he didn't. Uh, he, he didn't. He didn't shoot the gun first. The, yeah, he act like he didn't shoot. Them guys have been going at it for a long time, just subliminally. Yeah, like, subliminally. So then, when when 
uh, what's his name? Kendrick came back and said, fuck the big three, it's just big me. That was a shot at both of them. Like, fuck both of you. I'm the top dog. And, I, and J. Cole did say something about f- uh, first, right. first shooter. He, he did said, say, who's the best he, MC? Is it Kendrick K. Dot? Is it J- uh, Jermaine K. Dot or Kendrick or me? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But he said that, and then he said, uh, we started a league like the big three, but I'm Muhammad Ali, meaning he's the greatest of the three. Right. So you took, you said in just in that record, you said you're better than Drake, who you're on the record with, and, and you're better, better than K Dot. Yeah. K Dot said, "Fuck that, it's big me. me." And then you came back and said, and, and you put out a record which was fine with me. I thought that record was, and you could have kept going. You could have kept going, but, but you retracted it back and right. Call it day. You, you could have made a lot of money with that one. Appreciate y'all tapping in. What y'all think about this video? The reaction. Let us know what your opinion was on the track. And yeah. What you think about the J Cole record? You, know you give mean? it a seven. I, I give, give it a seven, seven too. Big cat. Call it dub. Big cat podcast. We out. Peace, God. Peace, God.